Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a general pick a pile reading about sex and passion messages. So you're gonna wanna make sure that the person that you are thinking about, you would wanna hear some possibly dirty messages from. So readings are timeless and timestamps are in the pinned comments and decks are in the description box. Also I have links to Linktree so you can find me all over the internet. And there's also links to Etsy for this exact reading. I wanted to say thank you to the new subscribers and those who are purchasing Etsy readings. It's been really fun to get to know you and your relationship. Also, don't forget to comment on a video because I like to do surprise things or shout outs. Also, at the end of the video will be the what's in the box box. And the what's in the box box is very important because it's about your intuition. And intuition is really important on my channel. So if I say something that you hear like even with these like oh your person wants to have dirty sex with you and you're like oh that would never happen then it's possibly not your information also on my channel if the camera zooms in on a card we pull a clarifier from the tarot of sexual magic today what I'm doing is I'll take each of these die roll them and we'll figure out how many messages you get for you from your person so this one I call the star die the green die and the blue sparkly die so let's get started with the people who chose the star die. So we have three messages. I try to do four or more. So we'll pull these three and then we'll roll the die again. So we have message number one. I love being your best friend. We're so close. Don't lose faith. And I want to touch your body. So then let's get the rest of these here. They have two more. Be strong, my beloved. And the fifth one is... This one's not coming out, guys. What is the last message? Ooh. I fell on the floor. Give me one second. Oh, this is way too late. Give me one second, I'm just looking at, you know what, I'm going to give you all of these. Whoa, guys, we got a lot of messages here, so let me give you all of these. I want a loving home with you. Please forgive me. I want a whole day alone with you. You are my mirror. I'm just going to get all these on here. I love the story of how we met. And you are so very loved. Yeah, all of a sudden they just kind of popped up and out. And I really feel like you and this person are fighting right now. So <laughs> let's go over this. Let's start out with please forgive me. There's something going on, but you are this person's mirror. So the things that you are seeing that you're upset with this person, you guys have been together for a while, a while. Now, when it says, don't, we're so close, don't lose faith, there's something that the two of you want. I really sense that this is a situation that's very specific. Um, there might be only one or two people who choose this pile. It really get a sense that this is a couple where they are wanting to get engaged. This person is sexually attracted. This person, when they're calling beloved and mirror, that really has a lot of... Uh, connotation of like soulmate or twin flame and it's in the same uh, section here so this person is really really you guys have been together a long time I love the story of how we met I want a whole day alone with you so you and this person because they want to build a loving home with you you and this person really want a a connection, a marriage, or to move in together. And there's kind of been some discord when it kind when it comes to what the overall connection is going to be like. It is very important to note though that you are so very loved and that this person loves being your best friend. So this thing that you guys are stuck up are stuck on is something that is ego based, purely ego based. It's something along the lines of like where you're going to live or like what house you're going to buy. It's something completely off topic when it comes to your actual relationship. 
This person does not want to forgive you, but they're actually, I mean, does not, excuse me, does not want to lose you, but they're actually wanting you to forgive them because of how they've handled themselves in this discussion that the two of you are having. This is very much a situation that's happening in this dimension. This is a live relationship. This is a committed relationship that is going through struggles right now. And those struggles really have to do with the fact that you guys are seeing each other for the mirrors that you are. So when you're frustrated with this other person, really turn it back on yourself. And so let's say you're frustrated with this person because they don't spend enough time with you. If you turn it around from a, from a mirror aspect, you're looking in it and you're saying, oh, I'm not meditating. I'm not getting any rest. I'm working way too hard. I don't eat the way I should. I never work out. I don't take care of myself at all. And I'm not giving myself any attention in any spiritual way. And then you're seeing your person and you're like, yeah, you say you want to marry me. You say you want this relationship with me, but you're not taking care of our relationship or taking care of me. And it's because you're seeing yourself. Okay. These things that you are mad at your person for, you are seeing a reflection of you. So you have a part in this that you have to fix for yourself. But it's really important for you. I really feel that this part, that they love being your best friend, is super duper important to this connection. Because ultimately the two of you are really friends. And they want a loving home with you. They want to build something with you. And they really screwed up in this recent conversation that the two of you guys had. So I, it doesn't seem like there's anybody else in the connection. There's no infidelity. You're not jealous. It really has to do with the logistics of where you're going to set everything up. So I will tell you that it is in your best interest to find the easiest route to compatibility and letting your ego go and saying, am I being abused? Am I being, you know, neglected? No, I just want something. Well, there's some room for compromise in this situation. And ultimately this compromise needs to take place in order for you guys to move forward. Like you can't move forward and neither can this person. For some of you, it has to do with the fact that you aren't getting time. And you're like, well, why would I want to go further and have more commitment with you if I don't get time? So you're really going to want to work on realizing that you are so very loved. You really are going to want to find your strength in this connection and realize that this person really loves you and you don't want to lose faith. So let's see what it lands on. Didn't really land on anything. Okay, there's a grid on the screen. And whatever card goes in the middle, that's the one we pull the clarifier on. And it landed really more like in the middle. So we won't pull any more cards. But you guys have an, a definite good connection with this person. They really want a commitment with you. You need to find out what you actually need in this situation as opposed to what you really want in this situation. And this uh, reading is also available on Etsy if you want to find some specific information about your connection. And then don't forget to like and share and subscribe and all the wonderful things you can do on YouTube. And then don't forget to go to the end of the video for what is in the box. So this is for group two, the people who chose the green die. And we have six messages right off the bat. Let's get started. What messages would you like to give to your person? One, I love seeing your eyes sparkle. This person is a little bit shy. They really don't want to share this. So this is coming from their higher self. So some of these things you may be shocked to hear about this person. I love spoiling you. Sorry, I dropped the other one on the ground. I can't help the way I feel about you. Let me pull a clarity card on that. I just want to remind myself, so I'm just going to set those over there. Okay. I can't stop loving you. I love you. This is your sign. Ooh, they really had a hard time telling you that they love you. And I never stop thinking about you and your love. 
Let's get some clarity on the I Love Senior Ice. Wow, this popped right up. I actually had two cards. We have the Ten of Cups as a clarity card and the Knight of Pentacles as a clarity card on that. So <laughs> let's get started. All right. So first off, right off the bat, it, this energy really feels like a couple that tried to be in a relationship and then they just were not ready or prepared and so things just didn't go smoothly you really felt like you were getting in the relationship and they were seeing you happy because they you were getting your ten of cups moment you know you were getting that good energy you really felt connected to this person they were coming in and making you feel happy then you have like the knight of pentacles which is reliability they were just resourceful you were, they were seeing your eyes sparkle because you were seeing the relationship that you had like always wanted. They were loving spoiling you. They were really saying, I can't stop loving you. I love you. This is your sign. I never stop thinking about you and your love. Like you really have doubted this person's, um, one second, I'm translating the word dedication. You have doubted this person's dedication. Like you literally said that to, to them. You're not dedicated to me. You don't care about me. But this person is like love, 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 love. This is the only one that doesn't say love on it, but it says I can't help the way I feel about you. Like almost every single one of these cards has to do with love. And you were so upset with them that you discontinued the relationship. You were like, no, I, you were really in a place of feeling envious, not jealous because jealousy is the fear of being left out or replaced. You were envious because there was somebody that your person was giving attention to. And you were just like, well, you're giving me the same attention that you give to that person. So I don't feel that you really, care about me and they really want you to know that I love you this is your sign I never stop thinking about you and your love and that one needed some clarity so let's look at that what do you got all right so it came up as the reverse world so the reverse world is about an unfinished lesson. And so I really feel that the people who are watching this are going to get an opportunity, a second chance with this person. Now, this chance is going to come really quick because this person really loves you and that's where they are right now. But energy changes all the time. Now they do try, they have tried to stop loving you, but it has not worked for them. You guys have unfinished business. Now I really do get a sense. Let's see. Is the watcher ready for this relationship? So I'm also shuffling the oracles of yes or no, because if it lands on the yellow, which is ask a friend, then I'll, I'll pull it up. So is the watcher ready for this relationship? Is the watcher ready for this relationship? How is no one is going to land on that? So it says, yes, do your best. Keep up the good work. The universe is smiling down on you. So when you were in this relationship with this person, you were not ready for a relationship. And in all actuality, when they came at you with like, I love you, I love you, I love you, you never really believed it. But this is your sign. You've asked for a sign. Maybe not quite maybe you have not said what where's my sign what do I need but they're telling you hey I love you let's try this again I'm really actually it's really interesting because they never say they're sorry so they didn't really do anything wrong you just really felt like you were just not ready and you wanted that ten of cups but you didn't oh you didn't feel like you deserved it okay let's pull another clarity card on here all right oh yeah look at that look at that picture <laughs> Look at that. It's they really want you to know I love you. This is your sign. So, okay. All right. We'll show them. We'll tell them. We'll tell them. Okay. All right. They were getting really excited. So the eight of pentacles is about mastering your craft. This is something that the, 
guys, come on. They really want you to know that they love you. This is something that the two of you energetically have attempted to do before in other lifetimes and you have not been successful. That's why they came in and they were so gung ho and you were like, ah, who are you? Why are you coming at me with all this love when I've never met you? And it's because they in their soul are remembering you from those past lives. So I'm trying to pull a clarity card that's because it, it went on that. This is your sign several times. Okay, so the clarity card that pulled up is the reverse nine of pentacles. Now this is about jealousy and envy. So there were some things that were going on that didn't really make you feel like, okay, they're 100% in this and you really didn't know how to deal with this relationship, but you've really found the maturity and you've really moved on to be able to go into something with someone like this. So you, you are ready. You says, keep up the good work. You have been working on yourself and your ability to receive love for quite a while now. And now the energy and the cards are saying, Hey, it's time to let it in. Like let them love you. All right. Well, thank you so much for letting me read for you. And if you need further information for your connection, there is a link to Etsy for this exact reading. And then don't forget to like and share and subscribe and all the wonderful things that you can do on YouTube. And then don't forget to go to the end of the video for what is in the box. So this is for the third group of people who chose the sparkly blue die. And we have three cards. You know, we will pull more than three. You are a dream come true. I know there is divine timing. I couldn't walk away if I wanted to. Now, you know, three is never enough, so we're going to roll some more. Okay, because I always say we won't, we're will we going to get at least four. So you have one more card. So this these cards aren't popping out quite as easily for this person. So they are kind of quiet in your life. You may not even know that this person really likes you. What's the fourth message? Okay. You help me understand unconditional love. Okay. So for some of you, you are in a relationship right now with someone else. This person knows that they're just waiting for you to be able to receive the love that they have. Some of you in this um, group are in a relationship right now that is not in your best interest. This person knows it. They want to stay around while you figure it out. They love you unconditionally and, and you help them understand because some of the conditions that you're putting them through are not the most positive and they haven't made a choice to love you. They have made a choice to stay. So you are a dream come true. And for some of you, you do not understand the dedication that this person has for you. Like you literally can't figure out why they feel that way. So, you know, you're, you're looking at this and you're saying, uh, I don't think that this person really wants a relationship or I don't understand why they would run a relationship, but they're saying you're a dream come true. Then they're saying, I know that there is divine timing. This person is a really spiritually connected person. Um, a lot of meditation, a lot of spending time with different, uh, like ascended masters. I really feel Ganesh very strongly right now. So this person may be working with uh, Lord Ganesh. So let's pull the clarifier on what, oh, that's popped right open popped right over was the, thought it was going to go reverse three of wands. Now this is about setbacks. This is about things not moving forward, a little bit of delay. So this, this person knows there's divine timing. You are their dream, but they're going to, they're willing to wait for that dream to come true because they know that that's what's going to happen. They're very, they have very strong, um, energy. The other card that pulled up for this was the three of cups. Now the three of cups is about celebrations. It's about support. This person will really find a reason for celebrating when they are able to connect with you. So let me pull another clarifier as it, okay. Let's pull another clarifier. We have the chariot that pulls up as a clarifier. So now the chariot 
when it comes up in this is about actions. It's about changes. You know, this relationship is having some movement in it. Even now as, as we're talking about this. <clears throat> so the card that pulled up when it pulled up was the two of pentacles. Oh, for some of you, you had a choice and you chose not this person. So then the other one that's pulling up is the reverse nine of cups. Now, when you chose that other person, it put you into a reverse nine of cups, which is about dissatisfaction. So some of you are in another relationship where you didn't choose this person. You chose another person and it's caused you to have dissatisfaction. And basically they're just waiting for you to figure life out. They're waiting for you to figure out that they are the person for you, but they're incredibly patient because they are trusting in the universe and divine timing rather than trusting in you because they don't really trust in other people. All right, I'm going to pull one more card because I thought that was the end, but apparently there's one more message. So it pulled up as the reverse five of cups. The reverse five of cups is about forgiveness hope returning and moving on. So this person has forgiven you. Their hope has returned and they are ready to move on. So if you are ready to move on, then you would be able to communicate with this person. If you want to have more information, you can go ahead and go to Etsy and get this exact reading. And then don't forget to like and share and subscribe and all the wonderful things you can do on YouTube. Now it's time for what is in the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? And what is in the box is the quarter. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to reading for you again.